When you're the head coach of a big-time college basketball program and you have a miserable season, of course it's natural that there's going to be discussion. Should they move on from you? Should you get fired? Are you up to the task of continuing with this team? Especially when that place is Michigan and the coach is Jawan Howard. Michigan, who over the past decade has seen a lot of success in college basketball. Nearly every single season, they're making runs to the Sweet 16. You've had some Elite Eight appearances, even a couple national championship appearances over the last 10 years. This season was different. Juwan Howard's Michigan Wolverines team, only a couple years removed from that Elite Eight run, have had a pathetic season. 8-24, and and their last place in the Big Ten. So, of course, there's going to be discussions about moving away from him as head coach. However, there's something interesting going on because apparently those discussions, it's just racist. It's racist to ask if a black head coach who had the worst season in the Big Ten and the worst performance we've seen from a Michigan basketball team in years... It's racist to think that there might be a move made. Look at this shit. Reporter alleges the white media is the reason Michigan coach might be fired. Yeah, the white media. The same media that is constantly, what, bending over backwards and begging for more black coaches, listing the number of black coaches in the ACC or whatever it is, saying, wow, this is such a success story. How incredible. We don't care about the records. We just care about the color of their skin. Yeah, that white media. Yeah, I'm sure that's the reason that Jawan Howard is getting criticized right now. How pathetic. Jawan Howard was asked a white wildly outrageous and racist question following Michigan's basketball season coming to an end. Howard and the Wolverines lost in the Big Ten tournament, 66-57 to to Penn State. In the opening stages of the tournament on Wednesday, Michigan finished the season 8-24. and Howard closed out the year by losing nine straight games. His seat is blazing hot, and there's a very real chance he's coached his final game with the program in Ann Arbor. Well, listen to this fucking question. Folks, recorder, coach, I'm right here. Uh, first of all, we're praying for you that your health will Thank you, improve. brother. Appreciate that, uh, man. <clears throat> there's three black coaches in this conference, and throughout the season, each one of you has been put on a hot seat by the white media. Uh, I'm hoping that you survive this. Each one of you has been put on the hot seat by the white media. This is fucking laughable. Juwan Howard went 8-24 and this year. If anybody went 8-24... and There would be questions about, do they have what it takes? Should they be coming back? But no, it must be the white media. Good thing we got the black reporter out there. I guess he's not part of the white media, black reporter, who is putting this into question. But because we know black coaches sometimes don't. Thank you. But can you speak on just the fact that the three of you are doing the job that you've been hired to do, representing as coaches. There were black kids in the stands today that got to see you coach. And we'll see other the other two black coaches doing this term. Can you- Listen, maybe I'm being too hard on this guy. Maybe it's like a make-a-wish thing, and he's not actually a reporter, has no idea what he's doing. That's why he's stumbling over his words and sounds so fucking dumb. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's a good explanation. Uh, but th- this is laughable. Now, Juwan Howard did not really, like, take the bait or anything. He-, he simply talked about, you know, his experience and growing up and, you know, what being a coach means to him and things like that. So I I don't really know what else you could have done. But to get a taste of Charles Holman, this is the guy who asked the question. His ex-bio describes him as a longtime black journalist who works hard at what I do. We're dealing with someone who describes themselves by their race. That's who this is. I'm a staff writer, Minnesota spokesman recorder in Minneapolis. I'm a longtime black journalist who works hard at what I do. Wow. Incredible. Everyone's roasting this right now because it's such an insane question. And I I don't blame Juwan Howard for the question. Obviously, I blame this dumbass fucking reporter. But the idea that that people are questioning, uh, somebody that finished last in the conference, somebody that went 8-24, and the the fact that that's being questioned as to whether or not they should be on the hot seat is insane. And it has nothing to do with race, nothing to do with the white media. It's all just bullshit. And this dude should be fucking embarrassed to call himself a journalist. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.